been fairly active this afternoon with the thunderstorms beginning to take shape. The latest severe thunderstorm warning was allowed to expire as we are coming on the air at 530 and that strong thunderstorm making its way through parts of Butte, Jefferson and Clark counties. This thunderstorm here is still putting down a lot of lightning right now as it's been moving to the northeast into Spencer and Dubois. And again, a severe thunderstorm that was with that thunderstorm warning earlier, I should say, with the strong downdraft winds coming at 60 to 70 miles per hour. We saw that thunderstorm really start to take shape as it came over Arco, dumping quite a bit of wet weather towards Arco and areas into parts of uh, western parts of Butte County and in towards a little bit of Custer County with those heavier showers. There was even a concern of some flash flooding possible around Arco and how with the thunderstorm that just came in and dumped all that rain uh, during the three and four o'clock hour this afternoon. Now we have more of this thunderstorm action coming up off the mountains of Power County coming into the desert and the Snake River Plain moving to the north now of Aberdeen. Uh, it was coming through Aberdeen just a little bit ago, but it has since moved to the north and it's dissipated a little bit. But you look to the west of Aberdeen, we still got a lot of lightning with the core of this thunderstorm still just coming out of the uh, eastern reaches of the Magic Valley and into the lower Snake River Plain. Plus also American Falls was getting uh, rocked with that thunderstorm earlier. Pocatello, we were seeing the thunderstorms roll on through. Now that's moving off to the north and to the east. A little bit of wet weather currently in Blackfoot and a fairly strong large thunderstorm cell here around McCammon and getting over Lava Hot Springs right now, moving up towards the northeast of Income, coming over the mountains into Fort Hall and just to the outskirts of Chesterfield and Bancroft right now. But this thing looks like it's mostly favoring the mountain peaks at this moment. So that one's putting down quite a bit of lightning in our our local mountains. Plus also we got more wet weather, some scattered showers in Jackson currently, a little bit of wet weather on the eastern half of Caribou County, about parts of Soda Springs still getting drenched with some of that wet weather and also into parts of Bear Lake County. Plus also taking a look here to our south, more of these thunderstorms and scattered showers coming out of Utah for tonight and we're under a severe thunderstorm watch until 8 o'clock. A severe thunderstorm watch means that we have all the ingredients in place for a thunderstorm to take place or a strong thunderstorm to take place. And that severe thunderstorm watch is for eastern Idaho and most of Utah until 8 o'clock tonight. But they've already cropped off a few of the central counties from this watch as the thunderstorm threat has moved a little bit further to the east. So they constantly will change that watch box, if you will, as we step into the evening, getting a little close to expiration time. Area of low pressure currently over Northern California and Oregon. That's sending the wet weather in our direction. We were still hitting highs today around the upper 70s before the thunderstorms took hold. Now we're going to start seeing dropping temperatures working through tonight and tomorrow. Thanks to this area of low pressure, we're going to change up the wind direction. We're going to pull in the colder air from the north and we'll have gusty winds continuing into Friday. But by Friday and Saturday, we're going to nudge in a little bit of high pressure and warm us up as we head into Saturday, Sunday and much of next week. So the thunderstorms currently over Blackfoot and Pocatello getting over Idaho Falls a little bit later on this evening with some scattered showers. That's moving to the north as we head into late night hours and we could get still a couple good downpours out there as we're getting close to midnight tonight. We'll have a few showers in the forecast tomorrow morning, especially around 6 a.m. closer to Island Park and Yellowstone. But then as we get through the day tomorrow, we're not seeing a lot of wet weather action here. We're going to be keeping the thunderstorm threat mostly into the mountains for your Thursday afternoon with just a few isolated spritzes for the afternoon hours, but then we begin to clear out, dry out as we head into Friday and Saturday. Winds also going to be quite the nuisance here getting into Thursday afternoon. So gusty conditions from the thunderstorms tonight, quiet winds early tomorrow morning, but watch the winds tomorrow. Everybody's starting to get gusty out there as we head to about three, four o'clock in the afternoon, especially in areas of the Snake River Plain and throughout the desert. Temps tomorrow at 65 in Preston and Millet. It's cooler tomorrow. 60 in Lava with 58 in and around the, the Star Valley, 57 for Jackson, 62 in Rexburg and St. Anthony, 56 in Island Park, 54 for Stanley, lower 60s in Salmon with a high of 57 towards Arco. And then highs in Idaho Falls should be back to 62 along with Rigby, 66 in Pocatello and 64 towards Burley. Here's the eight day. We'll start with Blackfoot. Temperatures are going to get into the 60s here for Thursday and Friday. We start to warm it up a little bit for Friday with more sunshine. And then we're back into the 70s for this weekend. Saturday and Sunday, highs low to mid 70s. Plenty of sunshine for next week with highs approaching 80. Rexburg seeing a pretty big dip in the temps tomorrow with a chance of showers and thunderstorms and gusty winds. Highs around 62, but back to 70 by this Saturday. Jackson, a high of 64 for Friday. Still windy through Friday, but we'll pull in some sunshine and warmer temperatures through the weekend with highs getting back to the low to mid 70s by Sunday and Monday to start.
start off a new week. Over to Salmon, you got a few showers and thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow with temperatures around 63 for the high Thursday afternoon. Back to the 70s for Friday and Saturday and close to 80 degrees for next week. Pocatello seeing the dip in the temperatures coming through here for tomorrow with gusty winds. Highs around 66 and again a slight chance of a thunderstorm here for Thursday. Low 70s in there for Friday and mostly sunny conditions for Saturday and Sunday with highs in the mid to upper 70s. Idaho Falls 62 degrees for tomorrow. 66 for Friday and we're in the low 70s for Saturday. Pushing closer to 80 for next week with plenty of sunshine and overnight lows hanging into those mid to lower 40s for a good chunk of this weekend and beyond as we get into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Could also get all the way back up to 80 degrees by the end of that eight day forecast. We'll send it over to Eric. All right, thanks, Michael. Coming up at sports, Utah begins.